Okay, that guy's good. Mr. Ratman. Certainly the clear pick in this pack. What is the next best card here? There's not really anything great. Both of these uncommons are fine. Yeah, gutter dweller versus nothing. All right, time to go on a heater. We are sucking something fierce. Candy grapple is amazing. Shepherd's good. Wrights is good. Actually, Wrights is pretty nice to a red cap follow up. What does this one do again? Monster roll. Chanted creatures. Sure. This card is just OP OP. Anytime you have a candy grapple, you feel like you. Nah, cube's easy mode. I feel like this is how I always start these days in new formats. I start with a really poor record, and then we climb back up. Ooh, we get to play the prank! I have cast zero times, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I've had it cast against me a ton. It always seems really good. And especially if you're making a bunch of tokens, the sack two is kind of nice. Hearth Elemental is great too. I want this card to be good. Beginning of each end step, Enchanted Player mills X cards, where X is the number of cards put in their graveyard from anywhere this turn. So you need to have like a bunch of removal for your opponent or whatever. No, I think Gingerbread Hunter is the better pick here. If we're going to be black as one of our main colors, then this is always a removal spell, and the upside of a 5-5 five five food is so good. Yo, what the heck? We are getting hooked up. I cannot wait to get like two wins and then die. Another elemental, another pack. This is kind of a nutty start. Raid Bombardment. I do not care for that card, even if we play rats. In fact, this is just a glutton and stay open to green, right? In fact, oh yeah, I mean, I first picked Gutter Dweller and we haven't seen much good red. No, this makes sense. We could easily just be green-black. One day, chat, we will do that. Today is not that day. But, well, no, we're not going to do this. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we got here? Troublemaker is actually pretty good. Nightmare is fine. I don't like it as much in green-black if we do end up doing that. Yeah, I'll take oof. Belligerent's really good, too. Hmm. I'm, like, pretty happy taking Brave the Wilds here, though, over Belligerent, I think. Eh, no, let's take the Uncommon. This is pretty good, and I think probably somewhat of a signal. Man, so many frickin' of the enchantments. And then when you need them, you never see them. Wow, Hearth Elemental Wheeling too. This card has been a fantastic one. Currently, I'm most likely to be like green-black. Damn, that fawn's super late! Or maybe red-green, I guess. Having so many double color cards is awkward. Red white land, of course. Uh, I mean the fawns help a lot if I'm gonna go three color. There is a frantic fire bolt here. And I guess, you know, we did get the fawn super late in pack one. Maybe I'm better off taking the bolt. Vanguard's solid as well. I don't think you need to take prism. Since we wheeled the fawn last time, I'm going to take the bolt. Whale's nice. We're not going to consider it, obviously. We could consider ruby, but torch feels the safest. Frenzy is amazing. Sprawl good. Lookout good. Another vanguard. Another belligerent, or do I want to take genealogist? We're not really doing the rat man thing. 
I guess I haven't seen much black since pack one, have I? Just cycle Dragon Mantle. Card seems pretty meh, though. Dream Spoilers are great. Not for our deck, I don't think. I think Witch may be better, too, but... Take the mantle since we're so heavy red now. I mean, yeah, red. Passing edge wall in here, but I'm not going to pass the bolt. Veterans good too. Nice one drop. Grabby. I mean, it just looks like we're doing red green adventures now. We did, in fact, wield a fawn. Nice. We were never solidly black, I would say. We took a couple black cards to start pack one, but that doesn't mean anything. This deck looks good. I'll probably splash Candy Grapple. I've never seen the Skewer Slinger or that uh, equipment I just passed played. Defense of the Heart. This one's solid. Rather, the effect is very strong, but... Uh, it just feels so weird and limited to play this. Like, Bramble Familiar is just a safe pick. Ruby here is great. Another Candy Grapple is good. No, the, the ability is amazing. Bad in draft? All right, I'm going to take it. Genealogist now over Flick. Could also take the... Oh, no, I guess no, we're not black main. This card is amazing. This card is so good. 2-2 two, two Vigilance for 2 at its base. And then every combat, you can pay one and make a freaking sorcerer roll attached to any creature. This card is very good. You don't even play this out on turn two, usually, unless you have nothing better to do. But you can make, yeah, like, it's effectively a three mana, three, three vigilance with this ability, too, you know? Another glut here. Third glut? Is this too much glut? Do I have a glut butt? This is so much glut, but we do have a good amount of ramp. I wonder if these belligerent of the balls are my worst creature now. There's still three mana three threes. Another up the bean. We're probably going to end up playing both of those too. I could legit see just cutting both of the belligerents. Or maybe the genealogist. How many creatures do I have to come down before genie? Because maybe this is never going to be a three drop. We only have three, four creatures that come down on turn one or two. Nice curse. Yeah, I might just cut both genealogists. We have enough other ways to bargain the glutton. Hell, I still might cut the belligerents, but then I would be down to 11 creatures. Maybe I don't need Prism here. Ruby! Sheesh! Okay, this is another deck that looks pretty good. <sighs> One, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think we need to splash the grapple. Do I want to run like one swamp for the hunter? The double fawn is probably good enough. Just cut one belligerent. All right, this deck's real good. I'm, I'm expecting an easy seven. Easiest seven of my life. I'm going to start running uh, predictions after the first round. 
Hands great. I don't even think it's worth attacking for one. Running into light blades with Ruby is really bad there. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> First year 1990, thanks for the four months, subby. Okay, 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 buddy. Okay. Then again, I did that yesterday to people with our... No, but I had a bunch of fixing for it. <laughs> we had the four color catapult deck. It wasn't really four color though. What is going on? It's pretty good. This can only block flyers, right? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna get wrathed for some reason. The main one is the white one, double white. But that ain't it. Okay, so maybe they're splashing white and red? Blue looks like a main. Double Swamp leads me to believe that could be a main, unless they've just drawn, like, both of their black sources. Sure. We're doing this because we have Hearth Elemental in our hand, so I can, like, use the Adventure ability. Assuming I draw, like, a land next turn. But even if we just draw a cheaper spell, we get to do some nonsense. Oh, we're so close to lethal! This triggers at the beginning of combat. Oh, no, 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 that works. Never mind. That works. That's lethal. Nice. So the belligerent's gonna trigger at the beginning of combat, turn one of my three powers into a four, and then Ruby attacks and gets plus two. Alright, we're gonna keep this. We got two cyclers, we got a defense. One red source unlocks a bunch of spells for us. What's the worst that can happen? And if they're playing rats? If they're playing rats, then the defense of the heart might be insanity. Two glut butts? Yes, yes. Yes, OP. More rats. More rats! Rats off. You play pack, that's three creatures, baby. Yeah, the rat fireball is real good. Totin tons is whatever. Hey, we're not supposed to draw you. Actually, I am going to run out the Defense of the Heart this turn. Because that stops them from playing a creature next turn. <laughs> no! 
Joke game. Joke game confirmed. Oh my god. You know, if they just have a bunch of removal, we're gonna lose this. Wow. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm lose to two creatures. Is that how it's gonna be, chat? Are you kidding? Are you absolutely kidding? That is so, so troll. That is absurd. Like, actually, actually mad about that. That's so unlucky. Oh my god. This is not a 15 land deck, we're running 17. I think I'd run 15 lands with three gluttons. Come on, bro. Hey! Oh, wait, they ran it out now after I drew all my gluttons? Are you kidding? I'm mad, dude. Jeez Louise. I mean, we're still doing fine, but... I'm keeping the beanstalks. F the rats. Okay, it was just a mistake. They forgot about it. <laughs> Hold! Great. Give it death touch. Brian McGee! Thanks for the 10 months, Subby. You got me. Gain three, draw two. Gonna wait at least one more turn. Glut, butt, glut, butt, glut, butt, this deck is nuts! Seriously though, how troll was drawing the gluttons? Were they consecutive too? They weren't consecutive, were they? All three, were they all three in a row? Oh my god, yeah. And I was stuck on four lands. <sighs> Man, what a game. Alright, hands good. On the draw, but what are you going to do? Do I lose if they don't run out that third creature? It depends. We might draw a land for the turn and still be able to glut. But it would have been a lot harder to win. Somebody do the odds on drawing the three gluttons in a row. I assume I had like a 27 card deck or something. 1 out of 27, 1 out of 26, 1 out of 25. This prediction is for the new one. For this game. Oh, sorry. 3 out of 27. Yep. Because it's not a specific glutton that I'm drawing. It's just a glutton. Correct. You get the point, though. Damn cats. Probably safer to make a food token here. The default is, if you're not the one starting that prediction, you don't have to worry about the prediction. Three 
three three for four. Enters the battlefield or attacks mill three, then return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Activated abilities of lands you control cost one less to activate. Land creatures you control get plus one plus one. Okay. So three three maybe ramp you. I need to draw oof, big oof, real bad, because that Vampiric Rites is going to kind of hose us. Vampiric Rites, I can't cast the Gingerbread Hunter minus two, minus two ability. I think we're just going to run out the Hunter. They came as three, chat. They always come as three. Mill seven, and then return a creature enchantment or land onto the battlefield. Lord Skit. Dude, Lord Skitter with vampiric rites. I'm one damage short of killing him this turn. Kind of sick. Oh, two damage now. Oh, that was a bad attack with the fawn, because now I can't use my gingerbread under ability. <laughs> Mistakes were made. It's fine. They need to have like two removal spells this turn or something. Trample is a hell of a drug. So they could have like the four mana exile effect, and then trip. No, they can't triple block. The rat doesn't block. They're going to need to draw into something or just have two naturally, but they would have cast one of them last turn, unless they just drew it off the right. Plus. Peppermint, thanks for the 30 months, Subby. Ouch, Exaxes. This deck is nuts. New prediction, get in. Sheesh. All right, this hand's great. It's not unranked, it's just when you bug out like that, it uh, doesn't show them as having a rank anymore. So, question is, do we want to just sack the defense to play out the glutton? Don't think so, I think I'll chill out. No rush.
Take it all. I take all the damages, my friend. What are you gonna do? Pass? If anything, they'll probably kill the gutter dweller. Ooh! Wait, maybe they have a wrath. Okay, I mean, they're just running into it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this last glut. I think I'm okay making or letting them make a token of that thing. Sure. I want to give the non-trampler menace. Oh wait, it already had menace. La 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 la. Well, it didn't matter. Because <laughs> they'd have to more than double block the Hamlet gluttons anyways. La 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 words. Whoops, I should have had it tap itself, lol. I GG, this deck is nuts! This hand is rather slow, friends. This hand just is gonna get rolled by an early curve. I think I'm gonna have to mulligan this one, that's really sucky. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna pitch a mountain. We're on the draw and we need to find green anyway. Any forests in the chat? Uh-oh. Oh God. Oh Lordy. Don't do it. Ah, they did it! That only triggers once for the pump effect, though, right? Yeah. Whew! Okay, saved. Saved. No more pumping, please. Just activate the cookie and attack for eight. It can still attack for eight. That elf is getting big! Oh my god, I'm gonna take nine this turn? <laughs> Believers! Believers! I don't feel so good. Hold up. Daddy Glutz here to maybe save the day. Yo, seductive turtle. Thanks for the 30.
eight months. Planes alert! That's not a good sign. They have double strike then? Oh no, am I dead? Oh, are they just gonna... No, they didn't double animate the... Wah! Well, they clearly have something, but... Can't do much about it. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't too bad. If I draw a land here, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. No. No, are you serious? Wait. Oh, that's a food, not a treasure. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the ruby next turn would be a three power, so we have to trade with that. All right. The hunter's in. And then we start drawing more gluttons. Easy in mode. They didn't pitch it? I think I'm supposed to sacrifice this, right? Alright, 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 alright. Actually, I should have killed the grabby immediately. Because now they can sack or get a trigger. Well, but this is so good versus a blowout. You know what? Oh, okay, well, I'm glad I didn't know. Remember that time I let Imidane hit me for 12? I remember. It was a good day. You know... I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> the fact that they have not rummaged means I'm probably dead. Again? Oh my god. All right, you got me. Okay, once again, that's not too bad. We have great draws. Oh lordy. Yeah, they're just drawing the nuts. My god. Five land stop, huh? Yeah. Good. Good beats. I mean, what can you do? <sighs> Their draws were just simply better. 4.25 to 1 payout. Pretty good. Sounds great. Turn one sprawl on black for the hunter on turn two removal. Okay, no more lands, please. I'm good. I'm real good. <laughs> uh, ma, 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 ma. Are you kidding me? I kind of want to quit already. That card is also just great, though. Stop! I said I didn't want any more. Stop! They have an adventure! Oh my god! Because I played an enchantment turn one, they will able. Ah! Ah! Chat, can we just quit? My lord. This is just actual worst possibles. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. And if you get me, you get me. I'm accepting of it. Means they don't have a removal spell for my hunter then, potentially.
Five five. You shall not pass. Shatter. God damn it. <sighs> you can always tell because they hover over your creature first and then over theirs. I actually need to kill the vanguard because it has trample. I know I don't need to do... Yeah, you know what? I'm so far behind I probably can't afford to play it quote-unquote safe. Alright, glut butt. It's the glut butt or bust and then we still lose to 6-7. Actual perfect curve. Alright, new prediction up. Oh, man, these games are pretty frustrating, not gonna lie. So many of our losses today have just felt, like, unavoidable. I'm not saying I haven't made any mistakes, I've made plenty, but... Okay, that hand's solid. <sighs> solid, solid. No time to think about mulligans. <laughs> Can't you see I want to get in the next draft? Hurry up and beat me. Wait, what? I am a paid actor in chat. Love your stream, GG. We are not going to give dum-dums out for that. They were in the chat. They said they were a paid actor. We are not paying out for that. That does not count. If we get matched up together, just play me. If you beat me, great. If I beat you, great. We don't want that. Oh no. See? Look what you've done! You've rigged the arena shuffler! It's like, oh, somebody gave you a free win? Let me undo all of that. Uh, you know what? I am very close to keeping this hand. We are on the draw. This is really close to a keep. I'm not even kidding. This is extremely close to a keep. It doesn't even have to be a mountain. Because Fawn filters for Ruby. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is a bad keep. Everything in our hand is really cheap. I think this is completely acceptable, acceptable to keep. If you do this again, that's fine. We didn't need to hit it there. It would have been nice, but it's not pivotal. <sighs> I think I'm going to keep the Up the Beanstalk as a bargain card. Yeah, that's, that is actually unlucky, right? That is low odds to miss on the first three draw steps when you have over half your deck being land. Yeah, that's extremely unlucky. You do the odds on that, it's like 80-something percent, maybe even 90 percent, right? Like, that's really bad luck. Right, it's like over half, over 50% each time, but four times in a row is crazy bad luck. <sighs> 